and start to pick up the pace, okay? Gasparilla half marathon tune-up race, February 27th. Ooh, what is, I think it's week 12, so I'll have to... Just another marathon Monday. Back from the first run of the day and what was on the front porch? I opened this box live yesterday. Go check it. Oh my my. It is finally here. Let's just say I believe there's a lot of Hoka shoes inside this box if you know what I'm talking about. All right, let's fire this up. Get you the comment of the day here at the start because I'm all about humble pie, eating your humble pie when you mess up in the running world and in life, okay? Also, a new, uh, a new use I'm using for this uh, treadmill, hold on, just bump it up a little bit. A new use is just to do different motions other than running straight forward. That's why runners get not always the same injuries, but a lot of times it's just that overuse, repetitive injury because we're just doing the same motion thousand, yeah, thousands and thousands of times every single day. So I like to come on here and just change it up a little bit, kind of do different things like this, just side to side. Oh man, it just feels good. It kind of reminds me of soccer and basketball practice, you know, back in middle school and high school. So, all right, here's the humble pie, everybody. Kurt Stieg, actually, I'm going to stop it just for a sec. Here we go. Kurt Stieg, a Longtime viewer of the channel. Um, so here's the deal. When I'm wrong, I will tell you I'm wrong. And that's what, like, for all the long time subscribers, you know, like, when I'm wrong, I'll call myself out. And Jim Ryan was the first high school American mile to break the four minute mile. High, school Amer high schooler in America to break the four minute mile, not the first. American to break the four minute mile. Okay, I misspoke yesterday, so thank you, Kurt. He says, Jim Ryan was the first high school athlete to break four minutes in the mile. The first US athlete to do it was Don Bowden in 57. Fun fact, after he retired, he helped develop the Tartan track, the first synthetic track surface. Didn't know that, very cool. Would also suggest reading The Perfect Mile by Neil Bascom. Certainly goes into the chase of the four minute, yes, it's a great book, uh, between Bannister, Landry, and another Kansas runner, Wes Santee. So Kurt, thank you for calling me out yesterday. And also, oh yeah, the carbon rods in the, is it here? It's not here, shoot, hold on, let me go, let me go grab it. There we go, found it. All right, humility, it's the number one ingredient on this earth, I think. for. Being happy, joyful, uh, feeling like you are not above everybody else. You know what I mean? Like, I'm honored that you're here and you're watching the channel, but I'm not above you. You know, like, I, I never want to come across as a YouTuber that's above anybody. We're all in this together. What am I always saying? A two-way street. Kurt, uh, correcting me. Two-way street. Like, boom. Thank you, Kurt. And same with this Takumi Sen 8. I know why I crossed my wires a couple days ago. I was thinking about carbon rods, and uh, but it's not, it's TPU, that pink right there, TPU rod. So just wanted to clarify that. Okay, let's do a little, little cool down here after the, did I say my run, the first run? There it is on your screen. Okay, we're gonna break down the week and also talk about some superhero mamas out there today. Oh my goodness. And we're pivoting into studio. Unbelievable. I was planning to talk about another topic. As you know, every Monday I film the Marathon Monday leading into Rotterdam. This is week seven of an 18 week training block. Starting it off right now. Week seven. All right. Last week was week six. Speaking of week six, there are the runs from last week. Okay. Soak it in. There they are on your screen. And we're diving into week seven. Okay. We're plugging along here, getting Get well, all right, I'll also show you, here's the volume increase over the past six, now seven weeks, all right? Crazy enough, week seven in my marathon preparation for Rotterdam, this week seven is the highest volume I will be running in the entire training block, different than New York City. As you know, I topped out at 140 for New York City, held that for over a month, and now for Rotterdam, we're gonna go back to 120 next week, I guess it'd be week eight, and start to pick up the pace, okay? Gasparilla half marathon tune-up race, February 27th. 
Ooh, what is, I think it's week 12. So I'll have a month of lower volume, higher speed, higher speed training, uh, leading into Gasparilla, the tune up in Florida. But I was going to talk about injuries today and preventing injuries, specifically during a marathon training block. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. After what we all witnessed in Houston yesterday, how could I, t- how could I not talk about what I think is frankly Hollywood worthy, like a movie needs to be made about what happened yesterday in the streets of Houston, Texas for Sarah Hall, and I'm sorry on the pronunciation, Kira, we'll go with Kira Diamato, um, two mothers, 38 years, I mean, not to talk about age, but 38 years old for Sarah, um, Sarah Hall, 37 years old for uh, Kira. They must have competed against each other in college. Actually, I'm 36, so they were actually just a little bit older than me competing in the NCAA. Um, I think Sarah ran for Stanford, if I'm not mistaken, and I actually don't even know the school. Here it is on your screen that Kira ran for uh, while she was at, uh, well, there's the university on your screen. So yesterday, American records, Sarah Hall in the half marathon, I believe uh, edging out uh, Molly Huddle by 10 seconds. All right, again, here it is on your screen, all right? And then Kira edging out Dina Castor. The, I mean, I mean, if you, <laughs> so here's, here's Dina's PR, which she, she set in the London Marathon in 2006, okay? So again, pretty close on both sides, but they did it. And I'm just gonna say, I know the old adage, age is just a number, but are we witnessing, just my little observation in the last three, four, five years, the peak marathon and half marathon prime racing age, is it creeping higher? You tell me in the comments. Is that what you're? Is that what we're witnessing between now these new American records from two mamas? Okay, I mean, just like you know, busy taking care of kids, making lunches, driving them to school, uh, early mornings. You know, it's just like there's a lot that goes behind raising a family, and not. And then on top of that, training as an elite athlete. It's unbelievable. Also on that whole Hollywood movie worthy in the streets of Houston, Texas yesterday, like Sarah and Ryan Hall, 15, so Ryan Hall is Sarah's husband, and he set the American record for the half marathon 15 years ago. Here it is on your screen, uh, the time and the date. It's just like the, the storylines just build and build and build. So a huge shout out to Sarah and Kira for throwing down Mama Strong 37 years young, 38 years young. I just, I, I, I don't know. I, I think I'm more excited. I'm honestly more excited about what I saw, what I saw. I didn't even watch it live. Well, I don't even know if it was on TV. I didn't watch it live, but I was more, I'm more excited about that race than frankly, even the Olympic races. Like it just is that incredible in my opinion. Like it's just like, I don't know. I'm to the moon. As you can tell, I'm a little speechless at what we're witnessing from these two Ladies, okay, so next week we will return to a regular Marathon Monday programming, all right, talking about injuries and injury prevention and how I've managed to do it now for a couple years, but today I just couldn't, I had, we have to focus on these American records, it's just, who know? I mean, so from Dina to uh, Kira, and then I don't know, actually, I don't know the date when Molly set her half marathon uh, American record, so who knows how long it's going to be again before those two times are broken, but it's, I just had to talk about it. So, oh yeah, question of the day. What do you think about these new American records? Share your thoughts. Um, am I just too excited? I don't know. They just, I mean, I knew it was going to be a good day for them, but uh, not that good. I just, it's odd. Uh, so, so exciting. Congratulations to them both, to their families, and again, that sacrificial love of motherhood, putting, putting kids, you know, they're raising their families first and pausing their elite running careers when maybe they could have been crushing these times a decade ago, but frankly, putting that on hold to, to start, a fam- start their families. And if you go and read their bios and their backstories, I'm not even touching on like, it's just that anyway, the storylines, like I've said, just go on and on and on. All right, I'll stop there. Onward and upward. Have a great, I guess, Tuesday if you're watching this when it publishes. 
and we will toss it to the Rotterdam Marathon training playlist. Um, whew, week seven, starting off, starting off fiery. There we go, there we go, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.